down to our back, bringing the foam roller lengthwise underneath us now. So a little bit of balance work, lying all the way down onto the foam roller. Nice chest opener too, so maybe take just a moment, ah, feel like you're sort of reversing that weight of gravity on your shoulders. Let's move through maybe just a few snow angels. So spiraling the arms up overhead, then pulling them back down. Start to use your breathing to expand the width of your lungs, excuse me, inhaling as you open, and exhale as you pull back down. Inhaling as you open. Carefully, you don't pop the ribs up. They actually stay translated back. You're widening the ribs as though you're expanding out to the sides of your body. And then slide it all the way down. Your hands, let's do palms face down onto the mat. And real quick, let's all internally rotate our shoulders. This happens. We live in a world of an internal rotation, right? Now I want you to externally rotate those shoulders, pulling the scapula back and down and sort of feel the foam roller underneath you. Use it to sense that you're widening your collarbones, opening your shoulders, and engaging the back of your body. So your arms, your hands are slightly pushing down into the mat to connect the posterior sling. Push the energy into your left foot, start to lift your right leg up to tabletop, and place it back down. And just start to move through some marches. You're pushing energy through the back of your arms, connecting, with that posterior sling, lifting and lowering. <clears throat> there may not be that much work in your arms right now, just a little bit to kind of catch yourself should you start to drip too far to one leg. Or maybe one side of your waist is much stronger than the other, and you feel yourself rocking and wobbling always when you lift one leg. Let's add on. Bring both legs to tabletop position. This is gonna be a little bit more work for those hands and those arms. Moving into your toe taps. Notice that the knee does not change position, right? This is like an L bracket. You're dropping the leg away from you, opening it up. Ooh, are your shoulders starting to internally rotate? Keep them back and down. Good, last one each. And then pick it up gently, bring your feet all the way back down. We're gonna progress, adding on. Let's start to push the fingertips into the mat as though you're rolling out Play-Doh. Slide them towards the heels as you lift the head, neck, chest, and curl. You're in a little bit of a forward flexion. Notice that your shoulders don't internally rotate. Remember, they're pushing into the mat and then slide it back down. Exhale, lift. So what I want you to focus on is how you're contracting your ribs, pulling them down and together to lift that head, neck, chest. Last one, and soften back down. Maintain that connection through your upper body. We're gonna come back to it in a minute. Standing into your arms, bring one leg to tabletop position and the other leg to meet it. Strong connection through the back of your shoulders. Both legs are gonna lengthen away to 45 degrees. Oh, and there's the work, and pull it back in. Right away, your ribs may wanna pop up. I want you to try to keep the ribs translating back. Mm. Pull the wheel of your pelvis towards you ever so slightly as you start to push the legs away from you and try to stay balanced on the foam roller. Oh yeah, don't fall. <laughs> Almost there, last three. Reaching through those legs. Give me two. Almost there, last one. Back in. Now hold a beat. We're gonna lift the head, neck, and chest. Pushing energy through your fingertips. Curl and hold. Reaching the legs away. Inhale and exhale. And inhale and exhale. Pull your waist in and up. Connect through the back of your body, back of your arms, pushing energy down into the foam roller. Almost there, three. Last two. Almost there, last one. Slowly soften everything back down. Ha! Huh? Let it breathe, spiral your arms up overhead. Go ahead and gently grab one wrist. So I'm gonna grab my left wrist with my right hand. And I'm gonna to start to encourage my body towards the right as my legs drip towards the left. Back up through center, I'm gonna switch and grab my right hand with my left, or right wrist with my left hand, and then curl the other way. 
and gently just kind of start to rock a little bit back and forth like that mm. as you're opening up the ribs and the waist and the abs that we just worked. Maybe even a little bit of a chin lift too. Oof. I'm going to hit that just once more. Mm. Back through center. Now, if you're wary of your balance on the foam roller, you can decide to roll to one side and pick yourself up. If you want a challenge today, we are going to roll up. Reaching through those fingertips, push energy down into your feet. Here's your inhale. Exhale, start to lift head, neck, chest, curl closer to your quads as you pick yourself all the way up to the sharp edge of your sit bones, nice and tall. Oof. And gently, let's go ahead and come off to one side, coming off of that foam roller. All right, so from here, we're going to move into a little bit of um, a balance exercise with the foam roller. So a little bit of sideline work into a little bit of oblique work. So let's bring the foam roller about the bra line of your waist, bra line of your um, body. Left leg is going to kick forward and right leg is going to kick back. So reach that left arm nice and long, and now again, enjoy a side bend. As you open up through the right waist, try to drop the right heel away from you a little bit, almost like it's long, pointing towards the far side of the room. Mm, maybe a little inhale here. Again, sort of like you're expanding the side of your ribs. Now on an exhale, I want you to start to pivot on the foam roller, lifting through that head, neck, and chest. Reach towards the inside of your left foot, and think a little bit, your ribs have just slid into the foam roller. Yeah, and then again, inhale. And exhale. The foam roller is moving just ever so slightly. It's kind of rolling for me a little closer to my armpit. And then as I come up, it's rolling a little lower onto my ribs. And I'm getting a little bit of a shoulder release as I do this. If you'd like to add on, start to lift that bottom arm with you. And then nice big stretch. And then exhale, lift. And nice big stretch. Let's do twice more like this. So think about pulling up through your waist and stretch. And last one, pull up through your waist. Good. And then soften and release. From here, gently push yourself up, bringing that foam roller into the small of your waist. Both legs now are going to kick together. So we're going to stand just that little bit into our left arm. Remember your right obliques. We just turned them on, right? Same idea. I want you to roll back just a little bit, just a little bit onto the back of your pelvis and start to pull your legs up. And then tap it back to your side. So roll kind of along the foam roller towards the back of your pelvis and then back up. If you'd like to add on just a little bit, reach that top arm long and then scoop and pull to your toes. Reach and scoop. Think of this as your right waist. Yet again, almost there. Pull. Last two. And reach. Almost there. Last one. Pull. And reach it out all the way. We're going to turn now to face down onto the mat with the foam roller reaching in front of you. Moving into a little bit of some prone work. Arms are reaching. Thumbs are going to sp um, spiral down towards the floor. As you push the arms away and lay close to the mat. Then start to spiral the thumbs up towards the ceiling. As you lift through the head, neck, chest, reach through the limbs, the arms, the legs, the abs are lifting, finding your extension. Sliding it back down. Spiral the thumbs down as you reach. Spiral the thumbs up as you lift. Melt your shoulders and stretch the abs. Then slide it back down. Careful that you don't dump into your low back. You're still lifting the layers of abdominals, right? Knitting the hammock that supports your low back. Last one like this. Reaching those shoulders back and down. Lifting. And then soften everything back down. Gently, let's now bring the foam roller a little closer to your elbows, all right? We're going to move into some tricep work next. So this is going to be an endurance exercise for your extensor. So how do you keep yourself lifted as we move um, through this next exercise? The thumb spiral down as you push, reaching the fingertips away. Spiral your thumbs up, wrap those shoulders back and down, lift the head, neck, chest, find a baby extension you can hold. This is where you're going to stay as you bend the elbows beside you, keep your shoulders back and down, and then reach it back forward. Now sometimes, again, that foam roller has a little mind of its own, and it may start to feel like it's lengthening away from you. You can always walk that foam roller a little higher up your forearms so you don't feel like you're losing it. Four, 
wrap the shoulders, three, lift the abdominals, reach the legs, two, almost there, last one, keep pushing energy into that foam roller, and then soften everything down, gently bend, bringing that foam roller underneath you, all the way back in, Woo. all right, we're going to swing it to the other side as we hit our left obliques. All right, so starting with that side bend first, that right arm is going to reach, left leg kicks long, excuse me, right leg kicks long, left leg kicks behind, and enjoy a little bit of a side stretch. Uh, kind of like you're just opening up through your left waist, maybe a little bit of breathing. We're going to start to flex through those obliques, so think about how am I going to pull myself up by shortening my left waist to stretch the right ribs open into the foam roller and then nice big stretch and exhale flex so think almost like you're going to reach towards the end like i'm going to grab my foot and i really feel those obliques turn on inhale and exhale pivot lifting through that left waist opening it and exhale pivot last two almost there last one Flexing through the spine, pull it up, up, up. Take a moment here. Let's actually pulse towards the heel. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. And soften everything back down gently. Start to pick yourself up. The foam is gonna move into the small of your waist. Both legs are gonna kick together. These are your left obliques. Same thing, still working on them. Standing into your right arm. Give yourself just a little bit of a tilt back. That'll just make it easier to pull your legs up. To feel like you're kind of rocking and lifting. And then back through center. Rocking and lifting. So I feel almost like I'm kind of leaning into that foam roller just a little bit. As I scoop into my abdominals. And last one. Rocking, leaning. If you'd like to add on. Give me four. Pulling it up. Last three. Careful you don't sink into that right shoulder. Two. Almost there. Last one. Reaching it up and all the way back through center. Yet again, we're going to come to another prone exercise. So we're going to use the triceps we just woke up a minute ago. Foam roller is going to come to your quads. And it's actually going to be just a little bit closer towards your, um, yeah, uh, towards the top of your thighs. So I got mine a little low. So it's starting maybe um, like the eyes of your hip crease. Elbows are going to start beside you. Press through your hands, lift through your heart, and find your baby extension. So we're going to first pick ourselves up, and we're going to find the top of the exercise. So this is the bottom of the exercise. The top of the exercise, you're going to start to pull your heart forward. The foam roller is going to roll towards your knees. You're going to push into your arms, and you're going to find an extension, and you're going to work those triceps. This is the top of your exercise. Push down into those arms, lift the layers of abdominals, reach through your legs, and hold. Right? So for many of us, it might be a little bend and then a lift. Right? A little bend and a little lift. There's your triceps again. Some of us can go all the way down, swing, and then all the way back up. All the way down, swing, wrap the shoulders. My the hardest part is the left shoulder blade wants to internally rotate, guys. Oh, remember how you were wrapping those shoulders back and down lengthwise on the foam roller? Same idea. Pull them back. Last one. Dip. And lift all the way up, bend at your knees, tuck the foam roller underneath you, find a little bit of a child's pose. Flexing through the spine, oof, stretch it out for a moment. Ooh. Opening through the lumb lumbar spine, the low back. Ooh. All right, so we've worked our extension. Let's come back to some flexion. So the foam roller is going to stay underneath your shins. As we massage our shins first, before we move into some really deep flexion through the spine, hands are going to come back in front of you, and you can come to a comfortable child, or excuse me, tabletop, as you gently start to roll the shins out on your foam roller. So we did our quads, now we've got our shins, Ooh, just that little back and forth. Now you can stay here or we're gonna make it a little bit more intense, right? A little bit more work for your abs. Come to like a tabletop position on the foam roller. So I'm starting near towards my knees. 
just below my knees. I'm gonna think, not that the knees collapse into the chest, but actually that I almost scoop my abdominals so much that I'm like pulling my hips up and rounding through my spine. So start to stand into your arms, lift the layers of abdominals, scoop the legs up underneath you, see how my hips are high, I don't collapse down, and then slide it back out. Pull up and down, and up and down. That's it, two, ooh, almost there, last one. Good, one more for good measure, tuck, and then back down, Woo. stretch it out, let it breathe. Woo. Opening up through the low back. I have flexed my feet just because that feels good for me. Maybe you want to point. And gently start to walk yourself back up. Slide that foam roller out from underneath you. <laughs> Let's move real quick, a little bit of an intermission into some twists just to feel good. Hand is going to be on our foam roller as we move into our uh, mermaid. Right hand gently rocking right to left. Now we've done a lot to wake up our arms. So what I'd like you to focus on is the sense of push down into the foam roller to lift the waist. We've already warmed up our waist. That feeling of standing into the arm to lift the obliques, pulling you back up. Let's do that once more. And pulling you back. Good. So from here, now I'd like you to turn towards your foam roller. Check in with your pelvis real quick. So sometimes, this always happens, that like the whole body comes with you. What I want you to think of a little bit is how much this left hip and glute can kind of feel heavy behind you so that you're turning just your rib cage. We're going to roll again, turning down through the spine. As you push the foam roller out, those thumbs are going to go down towards the floor again. And I want you to think of the weight in your left leg. As you come up, lift the head, neck, chest, wrap the shoulders back and down. And think of the twist in your waist. Inhale. And exhale, lift. Almost there, last one. Inhale. And exhale, lift. Head, neck, chest. Wrap the shoulders towards your back pockets. Keep that posterior sling active. Sliding it all the way back down. We're going to move into an active stretch here. The arms are still reaching. The abdominals are lifting. You're floated over that foam roller. So push energy into the foam roller to keep your upper body engaged. Now float your left leg up, then down, then up and down. Work the dimple of your left glute. Standing into the foam roller, your arms are active and you're squeezing from that left glute. Almost there. Three, last two, last one. Now from here, lift it up, hold. I want you to push into the wall behind you, pressing the leg back. Eight and seven and six, like you're pushing the car door shut behind you. Lift the abdominals. Keep your upper body turning down and try to wrap that left heel towards the wall behind you. Last one, hold. Pointing through the foot, you're gonna straighten the leg, then you're gonna kick your bottom. Straighten and kick all the while it's suspended. It's reaching. The fingertips are lengthening, the leg is lengthening. Whole body balance exercise. Whew. Your points of contact right now are just the foam roller and your right hip. Two, lift the abs, last one. Soften, bring it down, and roll yourself all the way back up. Woo! Let's take a little bit of a side stretch up and over the other way. And stack yourself back up. Swing your legs the other way. As we find our swing, our sea fan, as I like to picture it, and our mermaid to the left. A little rocking and then lifting. Find your left obliques, that's what pulls you up. So you're shifting your weight and scoop and pick it back up, yeah? If you'd like, you can bring that arm over, that's a great one. Adds a little bit more weight for you over there that you've gotta pick yourself back up. Lift that waist, woo! And last one, a little dip, and then Lift all the way back up. Woo. Let's turn now, facing towards that foam roller. Again, it's not how much of your body goes around. It's a little bit how you disassociate your ribs from your pelvis. 
pouring yourself down. Enjoy the stretch, opening your right waist, right ribs. Ooh, I got a stretch in my left hip from that glute work. Wrap the shoulders back and down. Thumbs spiral up as you lift the head, neck, chest, and then slide it back down. And exhale, spiral and lift. So in our mermaid, I want you to sense that you're pushing down into the foam roller and use the arms the same way you did supine lengthwise on the foam roller, right? We're right back to the posterior sling. Reaching it out, stay here for me. Reaching the arms over the foam roller, stretch from underneath your armpits as you lift and lower that right leg. Oof. It's in an attitude. Lift your waist and think that you're kind of like picking your tummy up off of your left quad. Ooh, trying to turn your shoulders square with the foam roller. Last one. We're going to stay lifted. Flex through the foot. Push it towards the wall behind you. Pulsing it back. Eight. Seven. Six. Open the eye of your hip crease. Four. Three. Last two. And one. Point through the toes. Extend the leg. Then kick your bottom. Reach and bend. And reach and reach your fingertips and toes away from each other. All the while lifting your abs to stay balanced between the foam roller and the outside of your left hip. Last two, last one. Bend it in, soften it down slowly. Ooh, pick yourself up, big stretch for those arms. Take a little breather. You can hold on to that right shin as you gently find another stretch the other way. Oh, and all the way back up. All right. So from here, we're going to come back to seated on our foam roller, working a little bit on our can-can. So back into our abs, back into some balance work, and our shoulders and posterior sling. Just can't get away from it, right? Whole body work. That means we still dress everything. So start with just maybe some gentle rocking to see what that feels like. As you kind of try to find your balance, on the foam roller, right? Whew. We are going to bring our hands behind us. We're going to send energy down into our arms, and then again, maybe just a little rocking here. So careful, as I like to call it a day at the beach, right, that you don't collapse into your shoulders. So I want you to send energy down into those arms a little bit to, again, think of the back of your shoulders as working. Now let's find a little moment and feel kind of like we're balanced on the foam roller. And I want you to stay here for me. So you're sending energy through your arms, lifting through the layers of abdominals, and start to march your legs again, back and forth. Lifting up, I'm going to use that exhale to pull my belly away from my quad as I bring the quad up towards my chest. Adding on, if you'd like, go ahead and lift one leg, hold it, bring the other leg to meet it. Move into your toe taps. We'll give our arms a break, don't worry. We will come off of those wrists. We're working a little bit on our balance. If you'd like, add on, draw your legs together, start to reach away and bend back in. So you are in a teaser. Whew. I'm not going to ask you to tease on the foam roller without your hands. This is just balance, <sighs> almost there. Can we go ahead and lengthen them out? Hold. Let's see what this feels like as we start to lower and lift and lower and lift. Deep abdominal connection here. Think, how does my leg <sighs> connect to my core? <sighs> almost there. <sighs> Last one each. Bend the knees into your chest. Oh, pick yourself back up. Shift the weight so that the bottom is going to come to the back side of the foam roller. Arms are going to link up and over, and we'll stretch that low back. If that got tight at all, find a moment to kind of let that breathe. Let it release. I'm going to circle my ankles because I think that sounds good to me today. You can pedal your feet if you'd like that. That adds a little bit of a kind of torque through my pelvis, or like a twist, a rotation, which kind of feels good. Just stretching that low back open. Ooh, we're almost there. 
gently start to bend. Scoop that back up underneath you. So we're going to come to seated facing towards each other. As we finish with just a little bit of some neck release, which unfortunately I feel like I don't really need to strengthen your neck because it probably flexes a lot during the day, right? All that stress in our jaw and our neck. So now I want to think, how do I soften it? How do I open it up? I like to bring my hands behind the foam roller, and now we're going to cup the foam roller as though you could like slide your fingertips underneath it. And just for a moment, see if that helps to stretch. Open your collarbones and your neck. Right, kind of rolling those shoulders back and down. I'm going to come back to the sense that when I inhale, I'm expanding my ribs into the sides of my arms. I just realized I was leaning forward a little bit, so I'm going to shift my weight back as though I'm really seated on the foam roller. My head is in line with my shoulders, which is in line with my hips. Now your hands are going to stay back so that your shoulders stay back as you turn just through your cervical spine towards the right. Use that inhale to expand through the width of your ribs and your collarbone, and then exhale back to center, over to the left, keeping that right shoulder behind. Ooh, I was just clenching in my left hip. I don't know why. Back and forth, trying to relax the body, right? Now we actually want gravity to help keep us stacked. Just that little rotation back and forth. Back through center, now we're going to listen to our shoulder with our right ear. That left shoulder stays heavy behind us and beside us. Start to drip the neck forward or the head down, stretching the back of the neck over to the left. Oh, very different on that side. Down through center. You're holding that bone roller so your shoulders are anchored. Mm. Try to relax the hips. Let's do that once more. Finishing, make sure it's a full circle for me, right? Try not to baby one side, but get that nice full stretch. You're gonna drop your head down through center, then slowly start to bring yourself back, then up, then back, then up. Letting go of that foam roller. Let's take a nice big inhale. And use that exhale, press all the air out as you spiral those arms back beside you. Let's do that once more. Kind of like that snow angel. Feel like you're expanding wide into the ribs, deep into the back of your lungs. <sighs> Exhale all of it out. Thank you so much. That's class. Thank you, everyone.